Hello everyone, it is DD's Bricks here, and today is my alternative build of the, excuse me, <laughs> of the verb. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is DD's Bricks here, and today is my alternative build for the Lego War Machine Buster set 76124, yeah, 76124, what the? A light in my room just went out. It scared the shit out of me. Anyways, uh, so this is War Machine's tank. Now, it might not look that big from your guys' angle, but from mine, trust me, it's bigger. Uh, so today, I'm gonna be talking about it. Uh, I won't be showing you guys how to build it. Uh, you'll have to wait till tomorrow for that, because this is kind of a rushed video. But, this does kind of involve the Outriders, but I'll get to those in a second. So I'm gonna start out with a small thing. Now, this is meant mainly for Ant-Man. Now, you might know that this minifigure comes with a scared expression. Well, if you want Ant-Man to be a coward, I know he's got his heavy face on, but if he had the scared face, uh, this is a little shield thing where if you put this on, it looks like a shield, and it easily detaches and attaches and detaches. So it looks like a shield from this angle. So it's like he's being protected, and he's kind of a... for not wanting to fight. <laughs> But, yeah, so, and that mean, and it does use these stickered pieces down here, and he just sits down. And so now this is the main build, this is the main attraction right here. So, I'm going to start off from the front, so we have the six stud shooter cannon in the front, and you do have to spin it with your fingers, so if you don't know how those work... Okay, five out of six of those went on the floor. One, two, three, four, five. Only one of them stayed up here. So that's how those work. And then up here we have two normal stud shooters, which those... Okay, both of them stayed up here. That's good, that's good. But you can easily detach those and attach them on the war machine if you'd like. They just slide right back down in there. And these are adjustable, but they don't have that, but they can go like up to here, and you can give it kind of a coolish, or a little bit of a cooler look, I guess. Wait, hang on. That's not right. There we go. But they usually, oh. So that's why they're not meant to be bent. They stay like that. But, and then move on to the back. War Machine just stands right here. Uh, you have to pick them up from the side, because you pick them from the back, it picks up that. So pick it up from the side, and then that acts as his little computer thing to control this. Excuse me. Um, and now uh, you might be wondering, well, what keeps fold folding out? Well, uh, well, first off, sticker here, sticker here, uh, sticker there, sticker there, and these things are actually drones that fold out. You fold these out, and you can detach them. And then there's two separate drones. Now, they might not really look like drones, but trust me, they are. So then that's when the Outriders come in. And there's one for each Outrider. They, they, these soon fly. They use this right here. And then just... And I missed. Let me try that again. I... Oh, my God. Come on. God dang it. Now I dropped the missile. Shoot the Outrider! There we go. And then there's a sticker on that one. And then for this one... What, the, what was that? There we go. Another sticker on this one. And then you easily reattach them, but I think you should reload them first. And you have to attach them on the top here. And then just fold them in. But before I do that, I'm going to talk about the other stickers that are on it at the moment. So to get these out of my way, I am going to fold these like in towards here. And if you want, heck, you could even put them like this in this position and have it be a little bit bigger if you want. You can you can pose it anywhere you want, but I do it like this because it looks more like a tank to me. 
So we got a sticker over here, and then a sticker that says 004.5, and then uh, a star sticker over here for like a like a uh, veteran fighter, or whatever the hell it is. And then yeah, you can pick up his helmet. But that's really it for the alternative build. Um, yeah, I actually had a lot of fun creating this. I wanted to make it big enough to where the point like where there was not many spare pieces left over. Well. That didn't really work out. There's a lot of spare pieces left over, but I still think it's got a nice bulk, bulky look to it. I try not to make it look crude at all, but uh, I hope you guys liked it. The tutorial for it is tomorrow. Um, and also, originally my plan was to make it fly, but actually you can if you want. There's quite a few red pieces here that could act as like engines, and then if you want, you could like fold these back to here. And use these as like engines or something, if you'd like. And just like hold them by his sides right here. Make him fly out of here, but it's his tank, but hey, if you want to make him fly, use your imagination. Uh, so, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you can never have time to post a video. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.